Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. Are you comfortable? It's good of you to ask. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just... Take care of the Institute. Take care of its people. They're good people. You know that. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone. It's all up to you. I'll do my best. I know you will. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Father, you've helped a boy achieve... his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes, I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home, ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.
operating at full capacity. Excuse Don't tell me, me. Allie. He's gone, isn't he? I'm very sorry. I know this must be difficult for you. What happens now? Now you take his place. Obviously, the director's quarters are now yours. I'll see to it that requisitions is restocked and have them add in some additional items to be used at your discretion. Some of the divisions may still need your help. Consider checking in with them. Good luck, director. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. All systems nominal. Have you seen J522 around? He didn't show up for duty today, and I can't seem to find him. Did you check robotics? He was probably scheduled for routine maintenance. I wouldn't worry about it. I thought so too, but he wasn't in the log, and everyone I've asked hasn't seen him. He's never just missed his shift like that. What are you saying? I'm worried something might have happened to him. No one knows where he is. It's like he just disappeared. It doesn't feel right. Shh. Keep your voice down. You know what happens if they hear you talking like this. They'll wipe you. I suggest you keep this to yourself. But what if something's wrong? Look around. Courser patrols have doubled. Synths are being wiped more frequently. Something is going on. I don't want to hear anymore. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. Good to see you. I know you'll achieve great things here. We all do. I wanted to compliment you on your handling of the situation in bioscience. Bravo. showed a lot of leans. Proceed directly to processing. It was probably just a glitch in the nervous system. The fine motor control software could use an update. If it were just a limb twitching, I'd like. but her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movement while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what you do. If you're about to launch into one of your about artificial symptoms and machines for souls. Don't bother. I've heard enough of them by now. Write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a sin can come in, why can't it have a soul? And if a sin has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines. So we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Doctor, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Just a moment. I never said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. You do well to remember that. 
Welcome to the Institute. Please step right this way. The future looks very bright indeed, Director. Doctor. Ah, Director. Hello. If I may take a moment of your time, we're having some trouble on the surface. There's a den of those abominable feral ghouls that's been threatening one of our scavenger teams. We've had to recall the sent scavengers until the situation can be dealt with. Hopefully by you. I'll take care of those feral ghouls for you. I'm very grateful for your help. I have no first-hand experience with these creatures, of course. But I've heard that they can be quite vicious. They are also quite territorial. So you should prepare for a fight. Good luck. Nates and Loken are lucky to be alive. Not everyone would have handled that situation as well as you did. Welcome. Please, Please don't get in the process. Greetings, sir. Do you think it's weird that I've never seen the surface? Hey, Sean. Hi, Dad. I've been waiting for you. You've been waiting for me? Yeah, they said I had to wait, so I waited. Here, this is for you. It's a hollow tape from Father. He said to give it to you, but not to listen to it. I is it true that he died? I liked him. He was always really nice to me. Yeah, I'm afraid it's true. I'm, I'm gonna miss him. But you're in charge now, right? You must be pretty excited about that. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're above ground, can you look for something? I want to try building some new stuff. I can really use an old alarm clock. I want to try and make something. For you. Sure thing, Sean. Thanks, Dad. If you are hearing me, then the time has come. I am gone. I can no longer look after young Sean. I hope that you might be willing. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. I hope that was not too presumptuous on my part. Both he and you deserve a chance to... to be a family. Please, take care of him. What happens when people die? Can mom see me?
You must die now, human. <laughs> I'm glad you talked me into coming here. Hey. To think I'd be above ground, suffering, I'm much better off here. Maybe they have the tourist brochure. Big shit storm at Bunker Hill, huh? As long as the Institute took a licking. Oh, now that was some firework show. Teach those Brotherhood bastards not to step into this commonwealth. Join the Institute. I suppose in the end, they always win. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data. 
But she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. What do you know about synths? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. So it is possible, then? Likely, even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The memory den is no friend to the Institute, honey. And here, I thought you were so nice. Irma. The den has no business with the Institute. Not now. Not ever. Yes. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Hopefully this caretaker will approve of the operation. <clears throat> Hopefully this caretaker will approve of the operation.
Gonna be a good fight! Gonna be a good fight! Someone there! Our oh, ears play tricks on me again! Sound, what is it? Ah, hold it!
Move, Agent. It's only a matter of time. Let's see what I got in my bag of tricks. Don't move. It's only a matter of time. Who had the guts to attack the Brotherhood's limb? But I hope I don't take them. Yeah? The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. I wonder what has happened elsewhere. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical, less extreme, more? Hi, how are you? <clears throat> yeah? 
Hopefully this caretaker will approve of the operation. What, you dry? Head over to the third rail. I heard the Institute broadcast. I ain't scared of some underground birds. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. She'll be giving what's left of her life for someone else. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Since G5 has no one else... For what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Curie, let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. My chest? What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. So, you join the Institute. I suppose in the end, they always win. Hey. Do you need something from me? Hi. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more Curie. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? 
It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel... better. Come. I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Hey. May I be of assistance? Do you need something? Your thoughts? Are all humans as formidable as you? If so, I must change some of my theories. Is everything all right between us? I find these traveling arrangements quite acceptable. That was it? As you wish. Humanity is so resilient to cling to life despite all of this. It is the duty of us all to further that survival. Hey. You need some. Thing, yes. Heads up. What do you want? Heads up. You need... Something, yes? We have nothing to discuss. The Institute has no business here. 